How's up guys, welcome back to another video. So I know I haven't made long form content in a hot minute, but I just thought I'd make a short long form video to introduce you guys to the newest um, addition to Katie's Exotics. So a little backstory on this little fella, which I'm gonna show you shortly. Um, so it was my birthday yesterday, I turned 15, and I've been doing research about this specific animal for about two or three years. And we found someone, um, it was quite a while away from our house, so my dad had quite a drive to pick them up. But we found someone selling the enclosure and two of these for 175 so it was a female and a male, and said they did like the occasional egg, so I was like, okay, breeding pair and tank, all for 175 pretty decent. So my dad went and collected them from Stroud um, on Friday, the day before my birthday. And unfortunately, the female did pass away shortly after being driven over. I'm pretty sure it might have been the shock of being transported um, or she had some kind of underlying illness that the guy didn't tell us about. It still hasn't been discovered why she passed. Um, if I do find out, I will tell you guys. But um, she was buried um, earlier this afternoon. I buried her next to my morning gecko, Dobby. Um, so yeah, she, she did pass, um, but the male is healthy and he is very energetic, um, and there is a little surprise at the end of this, which I wasn't expecting myself, but I will show you guys the little surprise at the end of this. Um, so yeah, I am going to show you the animal that you guys have been waiting to see. So this little guy is the newest addition to Katie's Exotics. He is a crested gecko, he's two years old and he's got some kind of harley quinn dalmatian morph going on here he's kind of like got harley quinn with um dalmatian spots but um yeah so he's about roughly two years old and phoenix the, the one that passed away she was about five and they was a breeding pair they lived together since um he was a baby so the previous owners um weren't his first owners he's been passed around unfortunately quite a lot we are his fourth home and the previous owners um, named him Skitten, um, and the other one was called Phoenix, but I have renamed him Squash. Um, I took inspiration from another reptile YouTuber um, who owns a crested gecko called Squash, and I think it's quite a cute name, so I decided to call him Squash. Um, Phoenix had dropped her tail before she came to us when she was with the previous owners, um, but thankfully um, Squash has still got his beautiful long tail so yeah he is gorgeous and i've only had him since yesterday since the female passed um i was probably going to keep her name as phoenix anyway i probably wasn't going to change it because i do like the name phoenix for crested gecko to be fair um <clears throat> but since she passed it got me thinking what if she laid eggs because in the description the guy said um, that she liked to burrow a lot. Crested geckos are an arboreal species. I will show you guys the full vivarium in a minute, but it's quite tall. Um, so since they are arboreal, they do like to live up in trees and in high places. So he did say that she likes to burrow in the description. Crested geckos typically only tend to burrow um, when they are getting ready to lay eggs, and it's usually only females that burrow. Sometimes some crested geckos will just burrow just because they want to, but more often than not, it's because they're getting ready to lay their eggs. So I thought it was a bit unusual that it was the female that was doing it, not the male as well. So it got me thinking, um, he said that she used to, um, dig up the substrate in the back right corner. So, um, my sister wanted to help me and we got some gloves and we started digging through the substrate. Lo and behold, there were two healthy, very plump eggs in the back right corner, exactly where she'd been digging and burrowing. And then we found another two eggs, but unfortunately the other two were infertile and they were very small as well. Um, so even if they weren't infertile, the chances of them surviving or hatching were very slim. But the other two, on the night that we found them, um, they actually hatched. So one hatched um, about five minutes after taking it out of the vivarium. And then we put them um, on heat and the other one hatched about half an hour after. So um, both hatched and both are very healthy. So they look more like their mom, I think. But they've definitely got the personality of their dad. Um, he's quite jumpy, whereas she was quite docile. Um, so yeah, they've definitely got like the markings of their mom because the mom was like a brindle lightish colour. Um, he's obviously very vibrant and pigmented. 
um, but he is usually a lot more jumpy um, and energetic than this. I think he's just a bit tired. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so she did leave me two beautiful little eggs and I will probably keep them. I will probably do some kind of project with them. With crested geckos and a lot of other reptiles, you can genetically match offspring to parents and usually have no genetic deformities. I will um, more than likely later this year be getting him um, a partner to live with him in here because you can cohab um, a male and a female together or I would get a separate tank. There he goes with his jump in. Um, I'd get a separate tank for the female um, and then get another tank for them to go in for a couple of months to breed. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the babies now. Um, so the babies live in a separate enclosure because crested geckos can be cannibalistic towards their young um, and they will also eat the eggs. So I'm glad I found them at the right time. Um, but eggs with crested geckos, they can take anywhere from 12 to 73 days to hatch. So those eggs must have been there a while because there's no way she laid them a few days before she died because the chances of them hatching out that healthy um, are quite slim. They would have ended up being premature, so they must have been there for um, quite a while. Um, but yeah, they're very healthy and so is he. I'm very happy that he is... Um, Coping okay um, with the loss of Phoenix. I will um, attempt to get him a partner later this year. I just think it's a bit too early right now. I'm going to let him settle in a bit more. I've only had him for a day, so um, I'm going to try and pair him up maybe just before December. Just give it a month or two. Um, but obviously, I've got the babies. So, yeah, I will show you guys the babies now as well. So in this little tank are the babies and this is what they will live in for a couple of months um, and then as I start to get bigger I will separate the siblings um, because it's not recommended to keep sibling crested geckos together because like males they can also become territorial with one another and fight with one another. So this is one of the babies, this is one of his children and it's for a little size comparison. That's it next to its dad. As you can see, it definitely doesn't get the markings from its dad. It's quite dark in colour. He's very light and vibrant in colour. Um, but the second baby um, is lighter. It looks more like its mom. So this is the second baby. You can see it's a lot lighter in colour than this one. This one's very dark. This one looks more like its mom. Um, I unfortunately don't have any pictures of Phoenix um, before she passed because I never actually got to meet her. Um, but I did see pictures from the advert, um, but I never got to meet her in person, unfortunately. She died before I got a chance to meet her. Um, so yeah, that is um, the new animals that are you will start seeing on Katie's Exotics. So yeah, these guys are on um, Rapashi, and I also gave him Rapashi as well, and he is also um, being fed Dubia roaches. These guys are a little bit too young for live food at the moment, so they're just on Rapashi, and then I'll probably start them on Pangea as well. Um, but this one was shedding this morning and I think he's got it all off now. Obviously I am just going to call them both he for now because they are too young to sex. But yeah, these are the little surprises that I also wasn't expecting. Um, but yeah, I'm very grateful that even though she passed away, her legacy continues with these little ones. Um, but it does happen when buying crested geckos, unfortunately. They can just suddenly die. Um... But I'm happy that he's healthy, I'm happy that the babies are healthy. Um, and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know I haven't made long form content in a while. I will try and make long form content more often. Um, but I'm just really busy with other stuff. Um, I do try and post shorts quite often. But I will try and make long form content here and there. Um, hopefully about the babies a lot as well. And I also have a new TikTok account if you guys want to go and, if you guys wanna go and follow that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.